Hi everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by plcgurus.net. So this is the third installment in our Control Logics PID Essentials video series. And what I want to do in this video is walk you through the initial setup that you're going to need to do in order to be able to follow along in the, in the next following videos. So like I said in the previous video, I am going to be simulating the entire thing on my PC. So I'm not going to need any hardware whatsoever in order to, to do this. So, so I have provided you with a link and I'll provide another link in this video as well in the comment section below that will take you to the download area on plcgurus.net that will allow you to download the PID simulator template file as well as the PID panel uh, HMI archive file. And like I said, this is gonna get us up and running so we can all move together very, very quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna to go to my download folder and I'm just gonna go ahead and extract that. Click yes, okay, and there it is. So you can see here I have the uh, PID simulator template ACD as well as the archive file that's going to give us all of the controls necessary in order to simulate our closed loop process. And then the template file is gonna give you all of the IO pre-configured and all of the secret sauce, I guess you can call it, that's gonna make these two talk to each other. Um, so please go ahead and download that and then come on back here and I'll show you how to get the emulator and everything set up. Okay, so I'm assuming you're with me now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and copy this over into the default Studio 5000 project directory here. And there we go. And so I'm gonna close that. And then, um, you know, I'm just gonna close the one behind it too. And the next thing I wanna do now is go ahead and double click this archive file. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring up the application manager and allow it to install the full HMI project on your workstation. Okay, so I'm just gonna click next. And it's gonna be called PID SIM panel, that's fine. We'll click finish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this off now. We've got everything kind of set up the way we need. And what I wanna do now is move on over to the emulator. So I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna open it. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of reconfiguring here because like I said in the previous video, I wanna provide maximum flexibility here. So I want to provide those people who have the actual hardware, the ability to follow along. And I wanna provide us uh, who are gonna be purely simulation, the ability to follow along. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is move this RS Links module out of here because typically in the way the, the rack configuration shows it, the processor resides in this slot. So that can we can do that very easily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and launch RS Links. And let's just click on that. I'm just gonna readjust some things here. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go to communications, configure drivers. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this driver, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and configure it. And notice now, I do not want this module, this RS Links module in slot zero. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna move it right to the end. I'm gonna put it in slot number eight there. So let's find slot eight. There it is, click okay. And now you can see slot zero is available and we've gone ahead and moved the RS Links module to slot eight. So that's really what I wanted to do here. So I can close that and I'm gonna go ahead and just, well, let's just minimize that. So now it's time to go ahead and add the emulated processor. So I'm just right clicking in slot zero, clicking create, and I'm going to select the first one here, the emulated controller. Version 21, again, if you're using a later version, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that your emulator can support the, the revision of the logic controller you're using, and you should be all set. So I'm gonna click next, just click next. I'm just accepting the defaults. And there we have it, our emulator is installed and I'm just gonna leave that there. So let's carry on. The next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Studio 5000 now. And I'm going to open an existing project and I wanna open the PID simulator template. Okay, so just a little bit of adjustments here just to get everything that we want on the screen, I suppose. Okay, so that's it. So you can see all the IO is configured here for you. Um, you've got your HMI to PLC simulator handshaking um, routine here. And then the main routine is where we're going to start doing some programming in the next video. 
So what I want to do now is let's go ahead and open up Factory Talk View Studio. To do that, simply go to your start orb down here and you're going to go to all programs, Rockwell Software, and we're looking for Factory Talk View and Factory Talk View Studio. Okay, so there it is loading up and notice the PID SIM panel has now been installed on your workstation. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to head on over to the RS Links Enterprise configuration because typically when you're installing this for the first time on a workstation, uh, this usually gets lost along the way. But no problem, it's very straightforward. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and right click on the 1789 uh, backplane here, add device, and you want to look for the emulator controller here. So you're going to expand that. And I'm going to choose the um, Major Re Revision 11 here and click OK. And yes, our emulator is in fact in slot zero down here. So we'll click OK. And what you want to make sure of is just that, that you apply these changes. So click yes. And that should be it. So we can just click OK to close that off. And now what we can do is go to the display tab and open up the main display tab here. So there is our SIM panel. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is just try to rearrange this um, so we can fit everything on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the tree here. I'm just gonna start resizing some things just so we can get everything in one nice view here. Actually, let's double click that title bar. And there we go, now we can just see some dashed lines. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, I mean, we'll just readjust this. And I guess the next thing we'll do is, well, I'm already online with the controller, so I'm gonna go ahead and go offline and let's just walk through downloading the project into the emulated processor. So the first thing you wanna do is if your uh, path is not defined, is click on the little RS2 uh, icon here. You wanna br browse through your virtual chassis to the simulator and then click download. Download, yes. Change it back to run mode, yes. Let's go ahead and just put this into play just to make sure we don't have any errors. All right, so you can see here that this is in fact all ready to go, all right? So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and start doing some programming in order to set up our PID loop. So I hope you found this video informative. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and head on over to https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net. Thanks for watching.